Allah. When was the last time you shaved? Amani. Sis. You must shave. Ha Aman. And you're okay walking around like this. Ha 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 ha. This is unacceptable. Sis man. Ha Sis. I'm gonna try, gonna try, gonna try Work till I die, till I die, till I die I'm gonna fail and get up Cause I'm not giving up on my dream Hey gorgeous and welcome back to my channel I'm Kapana Shimange and this is How I Do Things The show where you send me your questions And I'll let you know how I would do things Now you can take it as advice or use it as entertainment Use it, don't use it Take it, don't take it Do with it what you will I'm just letting you know what I would do if I was in your shoes. Now, I have one question for you. Just one question for you. Are you ready? Well, are you? Are you ready to face the world? Are you ready to step out? Are you? Me? Uh-uh. Not ready. Uh -uh. I'm not. I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready yet to go get a mani and pedi. I'm not ready yet to go get a wax. I'm, I'm just not ready. No, no. The world is opening up again, all right? But I'm not ready yet. You know, I still need that barrier for me. Many of you have been asking about how can you groom yourselves? Because the bush is getting out of hand. There's an afro growing here and there's a bush in the situation because you're used to, you know, going and getting your mani and your pedi. So now your nails are all chopped and you're just like, how do people do this home hair and nails and body thing? And now there's hair growing all over the place and you're thinking to yourself, the methods that I've been using are just not going to be sustainable, right? But I still need to look good and feel good about myself. So how am I going to do this? Well, today I'm going to give you one of the hacks that I have been using and a tool that is honestly changing the landscape of my life. And I'm going to tell you more about it in a second. But if you have any questions that you want to send to me, head over to my Instagram at Kapana Shimange and look for this picture right here. It is in my Insta story highlights. So go to my profile, the how I do things highlights. This picture's right there. Reply and let me know what question or scenario you want me to talk about in my next video. And I'll do a video all about it. So let's not waste any more time let's get into this whole home grooming situation and the one hack and the one tool that i found that is changing everything so hair body hair the bush baby yes ah, how's the bush doing is it grown is it just poof? like every time you take off your panties it's just poof, afro growing by the bush is a bush the little girl down there is just covered, engulfed in just hair. <laughs> and I know it's happening. I know! Shaving is not an option. I'd rather have a bush than shave. I'll be honest with you. I'd rather have a bush than shave. Have you ever shaved? Uh -huh, if you want to itch, if you want to see yourself scratch down there in public, shave away. Now you'll see what will happen. Shaving down here is abrasive and it can discolor your armpits so you can start to get dark armpits from constantly just shaving with a razor and the legs legs we can shave with a razor it's fine however waxing is just the one it leaves you smooth the hair grows back slower and it grows back thinner but it's very hard to wax from home so what are we gonna do i recently bought myself an epilator yes ta-da i recently bought myself an epilator and it's I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So today I'm going to tell you what is this thing? How has it changed my life? And what do you need to know about how it's going to change the landscape of yourself? Smoother, smoother for longer. It is easy to use. And oh, there's so many benefits to this thing. It is so worth it. You're going to save a whole lot of money by doing this game changer. Number one is that an epilator is like a tweezer but like lots of tweezers, all in one. So it's this machine, you can get it in different sizes, and at the top there's this little rolling thing, and it's got like lots of tweezers on it. And what it does is it plucks the hair out of your skin, the same way that waxing works. And I know a lot of you, you think about waxing, and the first thing that comes into your head is, 
That's what we think about when we go for a wax. We think about somebody's gonna be ripping and then we're just literally going to be sore. And to be honest with you, waxing does pinch. And I said pinch because the, the feeling of the hurt literally lasts for that long and it's gone. It hurts in the moment, but once it's ripped out, eh, you get over it, right? So that's how waxing works. It rips out and then you're fine. You get over it. It lasts, the pain lasts for a second. And that's why so many people do it because the pain lasts for a second and the, re the results last for up to a month. An epilator kind of works the same way. It's a machine, so it can come in different sizes and it's got this little roller at the top that has a lot of little tweezers that plucks out the hair. So it plucks out the hair the same way a waxer does, but you can actually do a long strip at a time. I wouldn't advise doing a long strip at a time. I'd advise doing small strips at a time, but it works the same way. So it plucks the hair out of the root and leaves your hair, your legs and your underarms and other parts of your body smooth. So you're looking to spend about between 300 Rand and 1,500 Rand, depending on what you want to buy. You can go up more than 1,500 Rand. So the epilator plucks out all the hairs on your skin and leaves it super smooth. There are several benefits to this. Now imagine spending 500 Rand once off for something that you could use for 10 years. That is a thing. There are so many people who have used this specific epilator and have said that, yo, I've had this thing for 10 years until the motor gave in. 500 Rand, 10 years of smooth legs and underarms, so worth it. So the thing that you need to know about an epilator is that you have different types and different kinds. And this leads me to point number two. There are different levels and different types of epilators that you can get. So the first one looks like a lipstick. It is so cute, literally really tiny thing. And this is a facial epilator. So some people use this to tweeze their brows. So because it has lots of little tweezers, if you are precise enough, then you can use it to just shape up the brow area. For example, I have hair above my brow that when I do tweeze and when I do thread, I remove that from the top. So I can use an epilator for that one, the handheld facial epilator. Some people have a little bit of beard situation going on, so they use that for that as well. And others, there's an epilator that is so small that it also takes care of the nose hairs. So that's the first type. So if you're the type of person to maybe pluck a few little hairs on the chin or above the lip, or that you like to just clean up the eye area, you can get an epilator for that as well. Then there's a second type, which is slightly bigger, but it's not as big as the body epilator. And it's small, it's cute, it's compact, it's about that big. And what you do with this one is for the underarms and the intimate areas. So the sensitive intimate areas, underarms and the bikini line. So shaving is not an option. You're going to get ingrowns. It's going to itch like hell. I wouldn't recommend shaving your intimate area, but you can use this epilator for the panty line. So any way that the bikini touches around the legs and around the top, that's what you use this epilator for. It also comes with the exfoliator as well, depending on which one you buy. However, the motor for this one isn't as strong. So if you're going to try and cheat and use it on the rest of your body, your arms and your legs as well, then it might actually give in much earlier. You may not be able to use it for five years where most other epilators that are bigger, which is the body epilator, which is the one that I got, that one can last up to five to 10 years. I know some people have had it for seven years. My sister has an epilator and I don't know why I didn't think of using it, but she uses it. She's like, yo, it pinches, it hurts a little, but it leaves you so smooth. I've read many comments and many reviews where people are just like, yo, I've had this thing for close to 10 years and I spent 700 or 500 Rand on this once off. If you ask me, it is so worth it. So once you get to this level of epilator, they come in different shapes and sizes. So I know that the flawless one is quite big. It's that big, right? And it's flat. So you can only use it on big areas of your body, like your legs and maybe your belly, but you can't target for the smaller areas. And if you buy that one, just know that you're only going to use it for those areas of your body. But if you get the handheld one, that is the body one, you can still go under the armpits, but it's not as precise to go onto the face. For me, the body one works because that's where I need it for underarms, intimate, as well as my legs. You can get this as a cordless or a corded epilator, meaning that one, you have to sit close to a plug 
and use it there and the other you can carry around wherever you want to. Now the cordless one can be used in the shower or out of the shower and these are called wet or dry epilators. The dry one you have you can't go into the shower or into the bathroom with it so you want to make sure your bathroom is dry and then you can use it then but it can't get wet your legs can't be wet either. The wet one you can literally use it in the shower and some people like to exfoliate and then have a little bit of foam and then use it mm. to make it easier in the removal process. So whichever one you use, think about where you're going to use it, how long do you want to use it for, and what are your preferences. If you're the type of person who likes to use a little bit of gel or something like a conditioner over your legs when you are epilating, then maybe you want to get the wet epilator, which is a little different, but it's still nice size and it can still last quite some time. Epilators are a little noisy, right? So this is the noise that mine makes. Epilators are that mine makes. There's some noise to it. There is some noise to it, but that is the standard noise. So I, I did a little bit of research and I found out that most epilators actually do make a noise. Anything with, a, with that type of motor or engine in it is actually going to make a little bit of noise. It's the same as anything that you use to shave your hair. So if, you, if your man uses a, um, a shaver, then you'll know that it makes some noise as well. But this is kind of like a standard noise. So it's okay. You can't really do it in secret while everybody's sleeping. They're going to hear you. You may need to do it in another room. Number three is that it hurts. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. It hurts. There's a pinch. There is a pinch. There's going to be a pinch, okay? If you are a regular waxer, if you have gone for a number of waxes, then you know that waxing does hurt. It does pinch, right? But this is not a long hurt. This is not something you have to deal with an hour afterwards, not even 30 minutes afterwards. It only hurts when the hair comes out after the hair is out it stops hurting so if you've gone for a wax when you use an epilator you'll see that the pain is similar it doesn't come without pain if you're going to pluck something out it's not going to come without pain and it's a little bit of pain i don't even want to use the word pain it's discomfort that's it and it's really short so if you haven't gone for waxing before and you use an epilator you may want to take it easy when you get started so how i would recommend that you do it is do it a small patch at a time and give yourself breaks. Because this is a motor, you may want to just run the thing from the bottom of your leg all the way onto the top. Now that's going to hurt. If you're waxing, you know that they do a strip at a time. So do your epilation in the same way, a strip at a time. So go for one strip, breathe. Do another strip, breathe. Do another strip, breathe. And that way you get through it. It does take a little bit more time, but you want to get used to the pain levels and you want to get used to the fact that it does hurt a little bit. And honestly, if you've been waxing, you realize, ah, this is pretty normal. The more you do it, the more used to it you get and your tolerance grows. So from a pain level, it does hurt. It's a little bit of a pinch. It's like a lot of little pinches, but once the pinch is done, you get over it really quickly. Number four is one of the biggest reasons why I really love epilators is that the the hair grows back slower and it grows back thinner your girl nah me moi smeneza i've got thick hair i really do i you know i've got thick hair up here but everywhere else in my body eyebrows are thick i've got you know a bit of sideburns i've got hair in my arms i've got thick hair i've got thick hair i've got thick hair right so the thing I love about an epilator is that it grows back thinner after you remove the hair. And if you've gone for waxing, you'll see that this is the same thing too. Quite a lot of products actually do this for you. If you veet a lot, if you wax a lot, and if you use the epilator a lot, you'll start to notice that the hair grows back thinner. I love that. The difference between waxing and using an epilator is that when you wax, ne? <laughs> You have to have a certain length of hair to go for a wax or else you'll start to see that it's actually going to make your skin sensitive. But with an epilator, you can start and remove that hair and pluck it out when it's a bit shorter. So when you go waxing, they recommend that you have about half a centimeter or around half a centimeter of hair before you go for a wax for it to fully come out and for you not to get that, you know, some of the hair, some of the skin getting irritated. But with an epilator, you can start to remove it as soon as that hair starts to show a little bit and you're dealing with about three to three 
millimeters two to three millimeters then you can already use the epilator which is amazing so you can live your life and people won't ever see that you actually grow hair but here's the thing when you're using it in different parts of your body you want to use different strategies and make sure that you take care of your skin before and after using the epilator and this leads me to my fifth and final point number five is to make sure that you take care of your skin before and after using it so it is recommended that before you use an epilator right before you use it that you exfoliate your skin so one of my favorite scrubs to use for exfoliation is sugar scrubs or honey scrubs anything that has a little bit of granule in it to remove the dead skin now you don't want to be there just trying to change your complexion by putting in all the work and scrubbing until you turn red uh -uh. you want to do a gentle exfoliation with a sugar scrub i love sugar scrubs so avocado sugar oats honey those favorites you want to take it across your skin nicely just exfoliate each part of your body for about a minute and then after you wash it off lotion a little bit not too thick and then you go through with your epilator you want to work one section at a time so i know you may be excited once you get it but you do want to make sure that you go do the armpits one day take a little bit of a breather a day or two later you can do your legs a day or two later you can sort out the bush right now if you ask me i spend 700 rand on an epilator that also comes with an exfoliator and several other different heads it's going to last me for five five years and i'm going to have that smooth skin as opposed to waxing any day babe any day i can save that money and knowing that i still look good imagine it you will take an hour once or twice a month to do this and during that time if it was another way you would leave the house to go do that so ask the people in your house for some time and be like, yo, mama's going to the spa. Where's my spa? In the corner, in the bedroom, no one bother me. That is my home spa for my me time. If you need to do that, then do it. Take that time to take care of yourself, to do that self maintenance and to do that grooming. You will thank me later for getting an epilator. I'm excited about my epilator and I'm going to continue to tell you how it goes. I'll give you some secret footage on my website www.kopanishmangi.com where I'll give you a few more tips and tricks on how it's gone for me. And if you want those, head over to my website and you'll find them. That's it for today. It is a Saturday. We're grooming, we're taking care of ourselves, we're looking good, we're feeling good. So enjoy your self-care Saturday. Until the next time with more beauty hacks, comment down below. Let me know what grooming things are giving you a bit of stress and i'll come up with a few suggestions on how you can work around it but until next time beautiful people i'm kapana shimange and this is how i do things hey gorgeous thank you so much for watching my video i hope that you are enjoying your self-care saturday maintaining yourself and looking good don't forget to head over to my website www.gopanishmangi.com to get those extra resources and a little bit of a behind the scenes look at what happens before and after recording if you have not subscribed click on my face right here to subscribe because i know you've been binge watching don't be that girl until next time i love you and i thank you so much for all the support don't forget to share this with a friend who needs it because you know your friend is walking around with those ugh, funny looking legs until next time bye